Assalamu alaikum students how are you all so English, your english teacher is once again back with the new video in the previous video you had learned uh, you had a lesson a story from bapu's life so we had a very good moral there right uh, you learn that we need to treat each and everyone has a own brother and sisters and i hope you all have completed your notes and all the works assigned to you so today i am going to take up the next lesson that is lesson 4 the boy who cried wolf what do you mean by wolf wolf is an animal it's a an wild animal right next we have in the story we even have a sheep sheep is a wild animal no it's a pet animal right it's a domestic animal so in the story we are going to learn something can we just uh, play a trick with each and every one is it good uh, uh, if you play trick each and every time with everyone is it okay no playing too much of trick is not good for example just imagine you are sitting in the class and your class leader is minding your class and he will come to you and tell uh, mind uh, and you all are making noise okay you all are making noise so suddenly leader will go outside the class he will peep outside then he will come inside once again and he will come and tell you that the i saw just now the teacher is coming into the class she is on her way what you all will do you all will just keep silent right just pretending that you were silent you were not shouting so after some time you will see that teacher is not coming to the class that means you will understand that the leader was lying or he was just playing a trick so next time once again you will start making noise the leader will go outside he will peep he uh, this time really the teacher is coming to the class okay he will come once again and he will say the teacher is coming to the class keep silent do not make noise but this time you will think that you know previously just uh, before some time the leader has played a trick on us now also he is doing the same thing so you will think that and you will not keep quiet you will just continue making noise then really the teacher will come and enter the class and he will she, uh, see she will see all of you making noise isn't it this sometimes happen with us right if someone plays a trick or someone tells something lie to you then next time you won't trust that person so st in the story we have a same kind of uh, a same kind of incident let's see what will happen in the story uh to see we have to read the book so i want you all to take out your banyan tree book open page number 25 and using your index finger follow as i read out the lesson and even keep a pencil beside you in order to underline the important words lesson 4 the boy who cried wolf chandu was a shepherd boy he lived in a village called chapra Every day he took his flock of sheep to the hills nearby here underline the word chandu underline the word chandu next underline the word shepherd shepherd next chapra chapra next underline the word flock flock next sheep sheep now go to the next paragraph One day Chandu said to himself I will play a trick on the villagers he shouted help a wolf a wolf as if he had really seen a wolf the villagers heard him shout they came running with sticks in their hands and saw Chandu laughing they knew then that he had tricked them they were angry with him here underline the word trick trick i will play a trick next underline the word villagers villagers next underline the word wolf wolf next 
underline the word running running next laughing laughing now uh, next underline the word angry angry now go to the next paragraph when the villagers left chandu said to himself i will play this trick again so he played the trick a few more times each times the villagers came and went back angry here in this paragraph under uh, underline the word played played now go to the next paragraph then one day a wolf really did attack the sheep chandu shouted help hurry it's a wolf but the villagers said to one another chandu is being naughty again we will not help him here in this paragraph underline the word attack attack next underline the word hurry hurry next underline the word naughty naughty now go to the next paragraph the wolf said to himself no one is stopping me the wolf killed all the sheep here underline the word stopping stopping next killed killed underline the word killed the wolf killed all the sheep so students i hope you were repeating the lesson along with me what did you understand in this lesson in this lesson we have a little boy whose name is chandu his name is chandu what is he he is a shepherd now who is shepherd his name is chandu now what do you mean by shepherd shepherd is a person who takes care of sheep okay the person who take uh, takes care of the herd or the sheep is known as shepherd so this boy lived in a village named chapra the village named chapra here i told he was a shepherd shepherd means the person who takes care of the sheep that means he had a flock of sheep what do you mean by flock see for flock means it's a collective noun this word is a collective noun when you want to say um, uh, many sheep okay many sheep if there are one sheep it's a sheep if there are many sheep then you have to say it has flock of sheep okay it's a collective noun so he had a flock of sheep and he used to take all the sheep near the hill why to, near the hill to graze now even you all are, uh, might be having goat or cow at your home if you are lucky to have you know we have to take those domestic animals to have something they go to a ground or a hill in order to eat grass right for grazing in the same way he had many sheep and he used to take a flock of sheep to the hill nearby to graze over there so he was alone and all the sheep were grazing he was just feeling very bored he was trying to be he wanted to wanted to do something very naughty so a plan comes to his mind naughty mind so what he will think i will trick the villagers what do you mean by villagers you know village i told he lives in a, a village called chapra the people who live in that village is known as villagers okay the people who live in the village are called villagers so he will think i will trick the villagers what do you mean by trick cheat or uh, trying to make fun of them okay uh, trying to make fun of them so he will th think of a plan he will just shout and say help help there is a wolf there is a wolf so all the villagers will hear him after hearing him they will think this is a small boy we should go and help him so they will all will take big sticks and they will take some you know uh, some things to uh, hit the wolf and they will go and run to the hill while going to the hill what will they see they can see chandu and sheep uh, uh, the flock of sheep are safe and this boy looking at them he will start laughing 
see they uh, with such a care and such a difficulty they came running to save this boy but this boy is doing fun of them so they will feel very angry they will get very angry and they will say this is not a good habit you are being very naughty you should not do this next time they will get uh, angry they will warn him and they will go back villagers will go back when they go back once again this boy will think this was very fun i will do this once again so he will do the same thing few more times few more times after that one day what will happen a real wolf will come there and it will start killing the sheep looking at the wolf the boy will get very scared and he will start helping really like he will be very scared because there is a real wolf so he will be like help someone help there is a wolf here hurry help me but this time villagers will think chandu is being naughty again he is trying to trick us once again so they will think we are not going this time we are not going to go and help him because so many days we did and he was making fun of us so this time the wolf will come he uh, the wolf will kill all the sheep and he will tell to himself see no one is stopping me the wolf will say to itself that no one is uh, stopping me and he will kill all the sheep what did you learn from this story that if you uh, if you speak lie or if you just cheat someone then no one will trust you once again the trust is very uh, expensive it's very not expensive it's uh, i mean to say it's very precious okay you know the things which are very precious are very loving right we should take care of it in the same way the trust is very precious you cannot just spoil it by doing funny things and by tricking others if you trick someone then next time they won't be able to trust you then you will lose your trust then they won't trust you okay in this lesson we have some of the important words here let's go through it okay see chandu chandu is the name of a boy so c should be capital c h a n d u chandu next we have shepherd i already told shepherd is a person who takes care of the sheep okay shepherd s h e p h e r d shepherd next we have chapra chapra is the name of the village so it's a name so c should be capital c h a p r a chapra next village village v i l l a g a g e village okay next flock i uh, flock is a collective noun okay flock of sheep f l o c k flock next sheep s h e e p sheep can you see sheep i hope it looks like sheep for you all i have tried my best to draw sheep s h e e p sheep next wolf w o l f wolf and do you know what is the plural of wolf it's wolves not f you have to put v e s okay w o l v e s uh, when it's singular you have to write w o l f wolf next laughing uh, look at the spelling properly l a u g h i n g laughing trick tricking someone or uh, cheating okay t r i c k e d tricked next attack attacking trying to harm someone attack a t t a c k attack next hurry hurry being in a hurry urgent to go somewhere maybe hurry okay hurry there is a wolf here so hurry h u r r y hurry next villagers villagers are the people who live in village okay so look at the spelling the spelling v i l l a g e then at the end you have to add r s villagers the spelling till here will be village after that you have to add r s it will be villagers next naughty n a u g h t y naughty killed k i l l e d killed the wolf killed all the sheep so 
i hope you all have understood the story and go through all these important words read the lesson once again and be thorough with the story and do all the required assignments that is given to you till then take care of yourself jazakumullah khaira subhanallah walhamdulillah